Hello everyone. We appreciate you returning to our channel with this new video. Here we provide all of Abraham's wonderful teachings so that you can feel yourself and get better simply by controlling your thoughts. Let's get started. What's the easiest way to start positive momentum? Appreciation seems good if you've got some momentum already going, but what if nothing in your life is worth appreciating? What if you hate your job your lover left and took both cats. <laughs> then what? So the way to start momentum is to start general. Someone called out nature. The way to start positive momentum really is to be as general as you can. Because when you get specific, what happens is you activate the momentum that you've already had going. Does that make sense? So the more general you are. So what's the most general thing that you could think when you wake in the morning? Something that's good feeling. Could you focus upon your body lying in the bed? Could you appreciate the fact that you breathed all night long and you didn't have to think about it? That your bodily functions are working, that your heart is pumping and that the air is flowing. Could you just for a moment acknowledge in appreciation, but really more generally, the physical well being of that? No matter what's going on in your body, those things that are happening, it's big. It's really, really big. That's really big. It's really worth appreciating for a little bit. So now the momentum can continue. So you find yourself appreciating things like that generally, you find yourself appreciating things like that globally. You find yourself acknowledging the well being, the well being of how most are thriving around you. You could even find yourself comparing yourself to those who live in other places and feeling appreciation for where you have landed and what you are accomplishing. Then you can move in to your appreciation for trading stocks and the facilities for it that make it possible and the intuitiveness that you find and how fun it is to use the power of your mind and how great it is to get to do the math and how nice it is that there is a mathematical science that you understand and how nice it is that the market is broad enough that there is no long-term risk. And that knowing what you know and being able to apply your thoughts in the way that you do, that you can actually calculate with some accuracy what's coming back to you. And as you acknowledge the feeling of elation, as you've applied these principles, these laws of the universe, where you have deliberately brought yourself into vibrational alignment with something, brought yourself vibrationally up to speed with it, found thoughts and then practice those thoughts and spoke them regularly I'm really good at this and things go really well for me and the clients that I work with and the others that I trade with the others that I get to play with this is really a remarkable thing that's going on and you feel the momentum of that going the reason that that momentum keeps going well for you is because that is the vibrational momentum that you've got going but you can get that momentum going on every subject in the world anything that matters to you you have the ability to allow not get that momentum going to allow the momentum that you already got going to sweep you into its momentum this is the thing am I in the mode of receiving am I practicing the art of allowing am I practicing the art of allowing the momentum that has already been established by the desires that I've been offering am I allowing the momentum that has already been established by the desires that I've set into motion and continued by the non-physical energy that is giving its undivided attention to it am I now allowing myself to receive the benefit of that momentum that incredible momentum do you understand the leverage in allowing yourself to be swept up into that momentum and all it means is you got to choose that high flying disc and keep choosing it until you have success at it if you choose it and then you get lazy before breakfast then not much has been accomplished but if you choose it and are able to maintain it a little while now results are going to come to you that are going to keep the momentum going we promise you you cannot have an idea that thrills you and then that pays off without understanding what momentum is. Law of attraction is the heart of momentum. But when you choose this and then you choose its opposite and then you choose this and then you choose its opposite, you don't allow the momentum to get going. You see how it works? 
but when you choose it and don't resist it and 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 choose it and don't resist it this is the energy that creates worlds and it's available to you it's coursing through you all these unseen but not unknown non-physical energies all those who are supporting you and believing in you and knowing what you've asked for and knowing that it's all right all rooting for you never disappointed when you're not on that disc but always there waiting for you to join most everyone finds themselves either close to the vicinity of the vortex or in it every day for a moment so the key is to be aware when you're having one of those moments and then milk it a little and and in doing so you practice the vibration and the more you fat practice the vibration then the easier it is to sustain it in fact you've said something else really important here and that is when you are aware that there is a stumbling that you're stumbling a little bit and then you try to overcome the stumble that's like practicing being out of the vortex mm -hmm. And a lot of people, very well-meaning, do that. They're, they're trying too hard. They're aware that they're not there, so they're trying. So it's a very good mindset to say, well, I'm just going to watch and see when I'm naturally feeling better, and then I'm just going to try to milk that a little longer. Mm -hmm. We encouraged Esther a, a, a few weeks ago as she was basking her way to sleep to... Find a word that represented a feeling and just hold that word. In other words, the premise of our conversation with Esther is this. What you're observing in your physical format with your eyes and ears and physical senses could be something that puts you in the vortex or maybe not and often is something that has resistance in it so then we ask Esther to contemplate how what's in the vortex is not something that you can see or hear in other words this is a vibrational reality this is a vibrational reality that if you allow it will manifest so that you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it but when it is in its vibrational state if you are to participate in it you have to participate in it as the vibrational being that you are in other words you have to feel it because you can't see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it until it manifests are you following yes. so this vortex of creation is a vibrational state of being which is to say it's an emotional state of being so we ask Esther to try to feel her way in don't don't try so hard to think your way in try to feel your way in so she fixated on the words ease and flow because she wanted to be in the vortex because she was overwhelmed and the more she tried to get into the vortex from her place of overwhelmment she couldn't make the jump she just she she was struggling to get into the vortex but what she was doing in her struggle was practicing the out of the vortex vibration so we said just let it all go and reach for a word because on the other side of overwhelmment is ease on the other side of overwhelmment which is things not unfolding easily is flow so take the other side of it the emotional word and focus upon the emotional word and see if you can't feel your way into the vortex so Esther just thought about ease and flow she just let those words flood across her mind ease and flow and as she did it she felt the tension just lift off of her and then we said try to stay there but the words ease and flow while they were nice words they weren't very interesting for very long so then we said just go through the alphabet and with every letter choose a feeling an inside the vortex feeling so a was easy appreciate and B was bask or balance and C was clarity or calm or cool D was delicious deliberate sort of threw her out a little delicious I feel then she started using the words I feel I feel I feel desire I feel deserving I feel 
eager. I feel ease. I feel fun. I feel full. I feel frisky. I feel good. I feel happy. I feel inspired. I feel joyful. I feel I feel kind. We hope you enjoyed the last 15 minutes with us. We'd love to hear your thoughts as well as your valuable feedback in the comment section below. Just do it because we truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you won't miss our next video. Thank you very much.